we will do one more colligative in this uh, video but before that just as live otherwise on what colligative property is colligative properties depend on the number of solute particles in solution and a colligative property does not depend on the nature of the solute particles present in it so we know there are four colligative properties the first one being the vapor pressure lowering the second one is the boiling point elevation which is defined as uh, delta tb equals i kbm and the third one is the freezing point lowering or freezing point depression defined as delta tf equals i kfm and the fourth one is the osmotic pressure pi we call the osmotic pressure is represented as pi which is equal to i mrt and this video is going to focus on the osmotic pressure so for the osmotic pressure also we have the van der factor van der factor is uh, i which is actually the ratio of the actual number of particles and the number of formula units and or it just tells you uh, how many ions are there in the solution and this is more applicable to ionic compounds like uh, sodium chloride it ionizes into two ions na plus and cl minus therefore van der factor is 2 and uh, calcium chloride has a van der factor of 3 aluminum nitrate has one aluminum and three nitrate ions therefore has a van der factor of uh, 4 and all the organic compounds which do not ionize has a van der factor of 1 so now let's do a question on osmotic pressure calculate the osmotic pressure of 750 milliliter of a solution that has 32.5 gram of ethanol dissolved in water at 37 degrees celsius so the formula for uh, osmotic pressure pi equals i m r t be uh, careful that in this case you know i is the van der factor and m is the molarity the capital m so this is what is the basic difference between the other colligative property and osmotic pressure in case of osmotic pressure it is the molarity which is used and in the all the other three we use the molality r is the gas constant and T is the temperature and since molarity is always moles per liter the unit of R should also be in liter atmosphere divided by moles K and whenever R is used the unit of T the temperature should be in Kelvin so these are the factors you have to take care when we are doing a question on osmotic pressure otherwise the question is simple uh, I need to get the molarity and the molarity i need to get the moles mass is given now we know how to get the moles mass divided by the molar mass once you get the moles divided by the volume i get the molarity after we get the molarity substitute it into the equation and use the gas constant as 0 0.0821 and then the temperature remember to convert it into kelvin that is add 273 to degree celsius and I get the answer as 23.9 atmosphere. Uh, it is second question on osmotic pressure. A solution has 3.5 gram of an ionic compound dissolved in water and the total volume of the solution is 850 milliliter. The osmotic pressure of the solution is also given as 2065 millimeter of Ag and they are asking you to calculate the molar mass of the compound the van der factor I is also given because it's an ionic compound therefore it will have some van der factor so how do we handle the question osmotic pressure is given so we have to use the formula pi equals I m r t so pi is given r we know t is given I is there so we can calculate the molarity so use the formula and calculate the molarity of the solution and we know that molarity is moles per liters of solution and the moles of the compound has the molar mass mass of the substance is given therefore moles of the compound will be equal to 3.5 grams divided by molar mass substitute this into the molarity equation i will get molarity is 3.5 grams per molar mass divided by 0 0.850 and the molarity we have just calculated it as 0 0.037 substitute that value into this equation and calculate the molar mass that's equal to 
111 grams per mole. This is the third question on osmotic pressure. A 0.42 molar solution of magnesium chloride has an osmotic pressure of 24.66 atmosphere at 25 degrees Celsius. Calculate I, the van der factor and the percent ionic character of the solution. So generally when you look at magnesium chloride you think the I should be equal to 3. But it is possible that in solution because of the formation of the ion pairs I can be less than what we expect. So that's the reason we are calculating the percentage ionic character. So let's use the formula pi equals I MRT and calculate the value of I. Pi is given and uh, molarity is given. You know the value of R. Use the liter atmosphere mole Kelvin value and convert the temperature in from Celsius to Kelvin by adding 273 and get the value of I. And when you calculate the value of I, I get it as 2.4. The formula for percentage ionic character is percentage ionic character is equal to calculated I divided by actual I times 100. Magnesium chloride because it has one magnesium atom and two Cl ions has a value of I equal to 3 and hence the percentage ionic character will be equal to the calculated I that's 2.4 divided by the actual I that's 3 times 100 and I get the percentage ionic character as 80 percent.